Today, I'm gonna be building a block spec house, except I'm not gonna be adding any walls. Yeah, you heard that right. And this idea was inspired by Sophia D. Brinkcat 9415. That's not a one, that is a two. So yeah, thank you, Sophia, for this idea. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be inviting all of my subscribers to come to my house, like a little housewarming party. So if you guys want a chance to be in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, first we have to name the plot. So uh, house with, that's not how you spell house. No walls in this house. Haha, <laughs> hashtag I love being stalked. Amazing. Okay, so the first thing is, uh, well, usually this is where I'd add the walls, but uh, considering there's no walls, I think we're gonna go straight in with like the floor plan this is gonna look so weird i don't even know what i'm doing so maybe this can be like the kitchen this can be like my little office i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am awful at doing floor plans so do not judge me okay living room kitchen dining obnoxiously big hallway bedroom oh and i guess we also need a bathroom eh i guess we can put the bathroom like here okay well uh this is our house Surprise. This is so weird. I guess like I go straight into adding furniture. This feels illegal. This was technically going to make my entry area here. Actually, we can add floors. Yes, we cannot add walls, but there was no rules about not adding any floor. So guess who's adding a floor? <laughs> me. And you know what? I feel like we're gonna go for a traditional theme today. I'm feeling like a traditional girly. Oh, <gasps> you know what I just realized, guys? We, you know how I do, like, my iconic coat? Like, I usually have a wall here, and then I'll have a hook rack with, like, some towels. We can't do that, because that requires adding a wall, which we do not have. I guess we're gonna have to adapt and overcome. Okay, well, this is where the door's gonna be, so we can have a carpet here. And I still wanna add my coat, so we can have a little stump chair, so that way I can place, like, a basket on top of this and stack some towels in here, you know? You know what I just realized? When I invite you guys on, everyone is going to break into my house. They better not break in. I feel like a table here would look better. Also, I just realized we can't use overhead lighting. So instead, what we're going to have to do is add floor lamps, which honestly, I don't mind because floor lamps, they're kind of cute. <laughs> this entry area. Oh my gosh. You don't realize how important walls are until you don't have any. And it's like, wait, where does stuff go? Okay, I guess that's it for the entry area. And now the next room we have is the lounge room, which is over here. Also, I need your guys' help. I'm going to a costume party and I don't know what to dress up as. So far, I've got Harley Quinn. That's all I have. All I've written down is Harley Quinn. Quinn. I cannot think of anyone else so far. Oh my gosh, what if I dress up as my Roblox character? So if you have any ideas, comment them and let me know because I will be reading them. This is so confusing. Okay, we're gonna put a TV stand here. Wait, can I add a fireplace? I can add a fireplace. What am I doing? Technically, a fireplace doesn't require a wall, so ha ha ha, I can add one. Thank you. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm changing my theme. We are going with a beachy theme. Okay, we're gonna need a fireplace here because we're gonna get a little bit cold with uh, no walls. Like, how's that even gonna work? And we can also add some candles candles up here to produce more light. Well, you know what, guys? It doesn't really matter how many candles I add in this house because it's not like the walls are going to catch on fire because guess what? We don't have any walls. Wait, can we add pillars? Does that count? I mean, you guys said no walls, but you didn't say anything about a pillar. I'm adding a pillar. I want like two pillars like this. So then we can use these plain arches and add them at the top here and we can do something like this. Oh, see, that looks kind of cute. Now, the reason I'm doing this is you're going to look at me and you're going to be like, oh, Alaska, you're a genius. Okay, never mind. I'm not a genius because I can't place them there. I was gonna put overgrown wall vines at the back of this pillar. Guess what? It doesn't work, so never mind. Okay, considering we're going with a beachy style interior, I can add this hanging ring chair above the arch. Oh my gosh, wait! That's kind of smart or whatever. I'm kidding, I'm not a genius. Or am I? The world will never know. Okay, deck chair in the corner and a few of these sophisticated sectional lounges. Why are they called sophisticated lounges? They don't look really sophisticated to me. But what the hell, but They just look like normal lounges. Okay, and we're gonna have blue and white chairs because, like I said before, we're going with a beachy interior. I don't know what's everyone's obsession with beachy interiors lately. I was reading my comments and everyone was like, Alaska, build me a beach home or else. And I'm like, whoa. So yeah, beachy homes must be like the new in thing now. Okay, we'll add a few pillows to this lounge, even though that doesn't really make sense because one gust of wind comes and all these pillows will be flying all the way to like BFF supermarket over there. So I mean, it doesn't make the most sense logically, but also look at this. One of you guys taught me if I put a blanket here, I can just use the transform tool and place it like this on top of this corner lounge. I was so happy when I found this out. Whoever taught me that, thank you. May God bless you with cold pillows every single time you jump into bed. Also, I had no idea what these draped blankets were. 
were. But pretty much if you place them here, if you have the transform tool, you can put them above your lounge. And if you pair them with basic blankets, you'll come up with something like this, which is like so cute. Everyone watching my video like, uh, yeah, Alaska, everyone already knew that. You fool. The thing with Bloxburg is that I learn new things every single day. That's what's so fun about Bloxburg, you know? You never know what you're going to get. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but that looks like one comfortable lounge. As for the coffee table. Oh, did you guys think I was going to do a basic shape coffee table? Please. I'm doing a basic shape coffee table. Okay, you know what? We're going to do something different today. What's like a really weird coffee table? Weird coffee table shape. Oh, this is cute. It's like a flower coffee table. $790. Okay, we're going to recreate this flower coffee table. Okay, it looks like they had like a vertical cylinder like this. And then for the petals up the top, we're just going to place four vertical cylinders like this. And we'll paint them pink like the photo. Oh my god, look how cute that looks. I should just come out with my own coffee table brand at this point. Okay, and now to just fill up this coffee table. Now, of course, we need some flowers on the table. Okay, and there we go. We've got a beautiful little coffee table. So I think that is it for our living room. Honestly, you know what I hate about this, guys? That is the cutest living room I've ever done. Yet I can't live in it because it has no walls. Sad, sad days. Oh, wait, I forgot we need lights in here because if we turn this to nighttime, as you can see, it's a little bit spooky. So put like an industrial floor lamp back here. Okay, so now we have the kitchen. As you can see, we have a lot of room for the kitchen. I don't know why I made it so big. Can you not chew your toes like when you're sitting on my lap? That is disgusting. One sitting on my lap right now is called Samira and she always just sits on my lap and chills. And right now she is literally eating her toenails on top of me. That is disgusting. Okay, so our fridge can go here. This is gonna look so weird. And for the island bench, I'm just gonna use like four basic counters like this because I'm feeling basic. And I feel like doing a blue kitchen today, like a nice blue and white kitchen. I'm low key scared to invite all you guys on. I feel like you are all just gonna steal my stuff. You know what? I'm gonna put lobster on this dining table and I wanna see the first person who steals this lobster. Every time I do a beachy styled interior. It reminds me of the show The Summer I Turn Pretty. Pretty much they live in this really nice beach home and every summer they go and it's just, oh, actually no, you know what my favorite show is? H2O Just Add Water. If you guys haven't watched H2O Just Add Water, go watch it right now. I'm so serious. Okay, we need to add like all the basic essentials to this kitchen. Something I never add is dishwashers. I don't know why, I need to start using them more. I didn't even know Bloxburg had dishwashers until someone commented, Alaska, why do you never use dishwashers? And I'm like, Bloxburg has dishwashers? You need to tell me these things. I don't know. Okay, the one thing I hate about not adding walls is I can't have any shelves up here. Like, I really want to have some shelving units so I can place all my mugs, but I can't because there's no walls. It's just, it's frustrating me. Like, I really want to have a wall right here so then I can put, like, a few oak shelves up the top. Guess what? I can't do that. Yay! I love doing these challenges. Okay, we need our cutting board here where we cut things. Yes, obviously, Alaska. That's why it's called a cutting board. And you know what? To make this kitchen more lifelike, we can have some paper bags on the counters of some groceries. Like we can just pretend we went grocery shopping, we got some flour. Boxburg needs to add more groceries. Why do they only have like six options? Okay, this is our kitchen. Am I scared? Yes. I feel like we also need some lights in here, but I'm like, where do I add the lights? <laughs> we can make something really cool. So if we put a cube like this and resize it so it's a little bit more narrow. On top of this, we can have a lamp, a vase, resize the vase so it fits in the lamp, and then outline this with some structural beams. If I can't copy this, I'm gonna cry. Okay, so we have a floor lamp here. I think it's really cute. Now, what I'm planning on doing is putting this all in the corners like that. I think it looks cute. Okay, so our kitchen is complete. I guess the next room we can work on is the bathroom. This is kind of gross considering the bathroom is literally right across from the kitchen. I don't know why I placed it there, but um, you know me. Always doing the weirdest options. Now, the first thing I thought of when someone was like, Alaska, build a house with no walls was um, how on earth is the bathroom going to turn out like? Okay, so we added some more pillars here. Now, typically I would use these modern floating vanity tables but um we can't really use them because there's no walls oh actually we can put them on this pillar that doesn't really make sense but um you know what nothing in this house makes sense so we're adding it okay and i guess the bathtub can go actually you know what no i changed my mind the bathtub can go in this corner so goodbye sink and you know what to give this bathroom a little bit of privacy maybe we can put the sinks here as for the toilet <laughs> I don't even know how this is going to turn out. We can kind of hide the toilet behind this wall lamp. There's not really much privacy, but at least the toilet is facing away from the rest of the house. I mean, that's going to count for something. Oh, I feel like a round carpet would look really nice underneath this bathtub. And I guess we can also add a shower. The only problem is all these showers require me to add a wall, but I can place it up against the pillar over here. Oh my God, wait, that actually turns out perfect. No, it doesn't. It's literally not even connected to the pillar. Makes no sense. You know what? I'm not going to question it. You guys aren't going to question it. This is a totally normal house, okay? We're also gonna place more overgrown wall vines on these pillars just to give the illusion of privacy.
privacy. Actually, you know what I can do? I can copy these pillars and place like one here, one here, and one here. I mean, you know what? Technically, it's not a wall, which means it's not cheating. You know what? It works. I'm a genius. Okay, we have all the things we need in a bathroom, except for like storage. Oh, I mean, there's this modern corner shelf. I guess I can place this here. Actually, there's this ladder shelf that looks better. So later. Lately, I've been obsessed with using linen. It's reminding me of my childhood. Also, for the toilet, we need toilet paper, but we can't really place these toilet paper rolls anywhere. So we're going to use a toilet paper stand instead. Let's just hope no one uses this toilet when I invite you guys over. That would be pretty awkward. Oh, I just realized there's no mirror either. Actually, using these pillars, we can have a nice big mirror right there. See, who needs walls? Not me. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do in this bathroom is just fill in this shelving unit up here. So we can have our toilet paper, a little toiletry bag, a candle so the bathroom doesn't stink, and then just like a few more towels because obviously I can't place them on the walls. Also, for our shampoo and conditioner, we're going to have a little stump chair next to the bathtub and we're just going to place it on top of this. See, I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of genius. Okay, and I think our bathroom is finished. You know what? I don't hate it. Okay, the next thing we have to do is our dining table, which I'm going to add here. We're just going to slap a big primal dining table right in the middle with a nice rug underneath. Now, as for the chairs, we're going to use the most fancy chairs, aka these transitional dining chairs. I just realized there's only six chairs here and I'm going to be inviting 75 people on. That's going to end well. <laughs> okay, that's it for the dining table. Very simple, very straight to the point. Now, as for our bedroom, I think we're going to copy the whole concept with the pillars and the plain high arches. And you know what? We can go fancy. We can have a nice fancy double bed. I haven't even invited you guys on yet and I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that can happen when inviting 75 of you guys into my house with no walls? Like, it's not like you guys are going to break in, right? <laughs> I also really want to have a fireplace in my room. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. Actually, you know what we can do? We can place a modern fireplace like this. See, technically, this gives us a little bit of privacy. Not much, but a little bit. And you know what? Instead of a TV, we're just going to have a painting. Okay, to match our fancy bed, we can use fancy end tables. And you know what? I actually came up with the best idea. We're going to have fairy lights above our bed like this. Like, tell me that isn't the cutest thing ever. You know what, guys? I don't actually hate this room. I'm just picturing at nighttime. You just stare up, look at the stars. Okay, now the last thing we need is some clothes. I think I'm just going to place this modern clothing rack in the corner. Okay, and I think that's everything I need in my bed. So now we have my office, which is at the front of the house. We're going to have a really big rug here that takes up like the majority of the space. And actually, I haven't used this corner office desk before. So you know what? That is what we're going to use today. We're going to spice it up a little bit. Okay, now on our desk, of course, we need our computer. Do you know what we also need? We need security cameras in here. I mean, it's pretty easy to tell if someone's breaking inside your home, considering there's no walls. In my office, I just love to have a bunch of photos. If you guys didn't know, I'm like currently decorating my office at the moment and I want to get a few of your guys' fan art printed out so I can put it up in my room. So if you guys want to send me your fan art on Instagram, definitely send it to me because I will most likely hang it up. Okay, I think that's our desk done. We also need a bookshelf here. Now, the good thing about adding a bookshelf is the fact that it gives us some privacy. You know what, guys? I should have just made this entire house out of bookshelves. I mean, technically, it's not made out of walls. Okay, so the bookshelf is done, which means I think the office is done as well. Okay, now I think the no walls house is finished. Actually, can I place a painting behind this bookshelf? Oh my god, I can. Okay, so now that the inside of the house is done, as you can see, we do not have much privacy, clearly. So what I'm going to do is add a few trees on the outside and hopefully that will give us a little bit of privacy. I mean, not much, but like a little bit. Why are trees so expensive? Why is this one tree 1,700? What are they putting inside of these trees? Gold? Okay, so my no walls house is all finished and comes to a total of $65,000. So let's head on inside. Welcome to my humble abode. We just have to walk in. There's not really any doors. Okay, so over here we've got the living room, which is my personal favorite. I love this little coffee table. If you use this, definitely tag me. I want to see your guys' interpretation. And then across from the living room, we have the beachy themed kitchen. The kitchen's actually like not too bad. I would cook here, to be honest. Like I think it's a total vibe. And then over here, we've got our bathroom. Again, not really much privacy. Like you take a bath here. You can literally see your entire household. One thing though, is I like how I added the vines at the back here. It gives us a little bit of privacy. So does the trees, but like, that's it. This is our gorgeous little dining table right here. Oh, who is she? She is stunning. Across from the bedroom, we have the office 
office. Now, one thing I love about the office is that like we have a really nice view. Like if this was my office, I would be in here all the time. And also sitting in this bed, like can you imagine resting here, turning this to nighttime and just like staring up at the stars. This is what the house looks like uh, during the night. As you can see, it's very, very spooky. Anyone can literally just walk in my house and break in. So yeah, not a vibe. You know what's also not a vibe about this house? If I change the weather to raining, we do not have a roof. My entire house just starts flooding. My lounge room, gone. Dining table, defeated. Bedroom, drenched. So yeah, it's all fun and games until it starts raining. Okay, so now it is time to invite you guys on to welcome you to my beautiful housewarming party. Okay, while we wait, let's get some lobster ready, shall we? We've got one lobster. Put that right there. Who's the first person to steal this lobster? Um, excuse me, you are not coming inside of my house being all stinky stink. Y'all need to have a shower. Alaska, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's my beautiful house. Come in. Hey, don't break in. What are you doing? Hey, get get out. Uh, you need a knock. Oi, no breaking in. This this is my home. Wow, I wonder how she did the walls. <laughs> Excuse me. The audacity of these people. Is that a toilet? Yo, someone's dressed as a toilet. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's him. Why are there no walls? Because who needs walls? It's 2023. So yeah, I think everyone likes my new home, except for the fact that there's no walls. Um, let's what's going on in the bathroom? Oh, so are you okay? Okay. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. There's a rat on my toilet. There's not really much privacy going on in here. I can literally see like everyone on the toilet. Oh, she's having a bath. Guys, don't look. Okay. I'm going to feed all my guests some lobster. So let me get this lobster ready. Okay. Everyone who wants some lobster. Okay. Let me get some lobster. Excuse This guy started cooking in my kitchen. You know what's funny? I don't remember inviting any of you guys inside. Not one, not one single person knocked on my door. Oh wait, I don't have a door. Um, excuse me, that is my desk you are on. There's people sleeping in my bed. Excuse me. Okay, let me cut up this lobster for some people. Okay, everyone to the dining table. We're gonna cut up some lobster. Okay, minor problem. We do not have enough seats for this. Okay, let me just quickly cut up this lobster. This lobster only serves five people. So, uh... <laughs> Why is there, like, a business meeting for these squirrels? What is going on in my living room? What on earth? These squirrels, they're actually out to get me. And every single video, these these guys, they come. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna place the lobster on the floor. And you know what? If someone wants it, they can get it. Well, welcome to my beautiful housewarming party, everyone. Thank you all for coming. So far, someone has clogged up my toilet, used my bed. So yeah, thank you all for coming to my housewarming party. I don't know how word got out, but um, even some celebrities rocked up to this housewarming party. Like we've got Shawn Mendes here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Excuse me. Like, you're in my camera. Okay, you know what? I'm not doing the outro. The outro is going to be done by this squirrel right here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building a Bloxburg house, but adding no walls. This was a really interesting challenge. And you know what? I don't hate the house, surprisingly. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.